Hi guys, my name is Mark and I updated my Final Mouse Phantom and I will show you the numbers now. Let's go! That's for you, Final Bow, because I'm a dump, as you know. Basically, what happens um, two days or some days after I posted my English video um, on this awesome YouTube channel with those Elder latency checks, um, which I'm doing on my gaming PC with an Elder, which is provided me by NVIDIA Germany um, to make those latency measurements and make game guides and other stuff, which I'm doing right now for Apex, for example. I just tested this one and the numbers were pretty shocking. Um, Borsi, thanks for shocking. And this was like one of the highest average latencies I've measured on all wireless mice I have here and it's like 16.33 milliseconds still. So I thought myself wow that's kind of high and I just compared it to this one and um, I tell you the numbers later again. At first I want to thank Final Mouse for bringing new firmware out uh, on, a, on a daily base and <laughs> This one is basically one of the latest, it's released on the 17th of January this year. That's the 1.0c version, um, the therapy guy was the last one who was working on this one. I will attach the link down below, uh, so below the video so you can check this out. It's also the update guide which explains you how to update the firmware on your Phantom or in general on your Starlight 12. One thing here is... Um, which makes me like, hmm, what are they showing me? Um, the zip is called the 1.2.0200 ms or 20.0 ms zip, which basically would lead me to a huge problem because um, at, at one point we had like, I uh, can't show you here, but at one point, that's the original review by the way of the Phantom, I thought myself, why they call it the 200 ms zip when the original average ms already were 16.3. And I just installed the firmware here on this one, like um, explained on, on their sheet and yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's not hard, but it's like taking a long time to just make it um, for if you never made it before or have done it before. I've done it here on the on uh, my Hero of Troy version, but it's like, I don't know, was it's ages ago, I can't even remember how I did it. And I did it here and this version they've posted there lead me to a 21.43 average milliseconds click to photon latency on my system. Basically, my system, yeah, render time latency is 1.4 milliseconds. That's one part of the render chain. And if I add 1.4 plus like 20 ms, which basically would be the name of the, of the firmware, would lead me to exactly the same average number, 21.4 ms. And I thought, are they checking me if I'm fucking dumb or what? Or what is this? Is this a joke? Because Everyone who will use this firmware update will have the, I don't know, it's the, the worst wireless mice you can buy for the money and get and fucking play. It's just stupid to do this firmware update. You, it's so slow. I have no clue why you should do this. I mean, even, I don't know, even this one is like... Eight, seven, seven milliseconds faster in click. And now, yeah, latency doesn't matter. Motion latency is most important. Okay, mo lo motion latency is important, but why you f play fucking 400 dpi? Why you don't play 3200 dpi? Oh, wait, you have sensor smoothening on this one on 3200 dpi. Okay, why you don't play 1600 dpi? Oh, it feels so fast. Uh, I, I, I calculated my eDPI and I corrected my in-game sense, but it feels way faster. Yeah, cause the motion delay is lower. Your sensitivity, the DPI, the DPI is higher and your sensor is reacting way faster. And you want to tell me now that latency on clicks doesn't matter? 
I tell you why it matters. Because if you pick someone and he has a, 20, a 125 average on the human benchmark and you have 130 in average, he's 5 milliseconds faster than you. And then he plays a G Pro, which is 12 milliseconds faster than your mouse. And you click at the same time, you have same ping, same server, same connection, you will just die. And if it would be a comp, or you're on LAN in the final, you will fucking suck, because the mouse will fucking outperform you. That's the reason. And the next guy who tells me, yeah, but if you're good in any game, you will be good with any product. Okay, bro, go back to fucking Tetris. Be good there. Don't try to be good at competitive shooters where people play 1000, 2000 FPS. People lower their fucking frame times, buy the most expensive hardware, hire people to optimize PCs, watching latency guys, installation of Windows, which is so minimal that you can't even fucking watch Pornhub. Okay? Just for the lowest frame times possible on the fucking planet. Because they want to be competitive as much as it could be. It's Formula One. It's not fucking stock car race with your Ford Bronco from 1985. That's a Ford Bronco, guys. That's from this side now. I'm ready and um, we just continue. Um, after this, I updated the firmware to the so-called IMDumpS firmware, which is available on the Final Mouse Discord, which I already talked about. Um, basically, they wrote something, they, they lowered the debounce time from 3.0 to 1.5 or just by minus 1.5 milliseconds. Basically, I can roughly see this here in the numbers. The average uh, got lower by roughly 1 millisecond. Can't even say it's really 1.5 milliseconds. So basically it's 15.54 milliseconds now, which is still more than an M4 from x the wireless one, still more than a Pulsar, still more than the new Katana, still more than nearly every wireless I have here. Um, so it's still one of the slowest uh, you have ever seen on the market. And the next one I want to show you is the Pegasus I have bought. This one is a Pegasus, the S1 Oop, with chaos. You see it on the box, so it's S, looks pretty nice. Honestly, I still love the shape. The shape is awesome. One of the best shapes I've ever played. Click feeling is super. Um, my mouse wheel is off-centered like always with Final Meme. Um, flex is low, basically no flex on this one. My DPI button is not clicking when I press from the top, so the rest is pretty solid. Clicks feel great, no snapping, nothing great. Great behavior, I played it also, it's good. Um, I like the coating here on top. It's way more grippy than the other ones, um, but I would still recommend grips on the side. And just by the latency, it is um, with Kale 9.0, uh, 8.0, sorry, not 9.0. It's 14.92 milliseconds in average, which is, which is again 0.5 milliseconds less compared to the IM dump as firmware on the Phantom M I have here. And the next one would be, surprise, surprise, it's not the modded one. The next one is the, the M version of the Pegasus I have here, which is basically one of the most rarest or most limited versions you can get because um, I was able to get one um, of the 5000 Pegasus they have produced. Which Omron, with Omrons, with so-called Japanese Omrons, I'm not sure if they're really Japanese Omrons, but they feel pretty like they are. And the sticker basically indicates or says that you have one of 500 possible productions with Omron switches inside. I'm kind of glad that I have it because I love the metallic sound. Feels like I'm back on mechanical work somewhere on a, on, a, on a workbench or wherever or in the gym, you know, lifting mini nano weights to have better latencies. Just a joke, guys. And basically, the latency here is even 0.5 milliseconds better than on the Pegasus S1 with the Kales. It's 14.48 milliseconds, which is okay. We are coming closer to x and Pulsar now, which are Basically, brands Posa is very new. Extra Fi is buying at big producers in China, like Final Mouse. But as it looks, they have a better, um, or they found a better 
producer than Final Mouse did, or I don't know, maybe they just want a better product and spend more time and don't want to use you as fucking cash cow. So um, it's okay, it feels good. Um, I think I will play it next week um, and rank it in Apex just to see how it performs over time and how the clicks are degenerating. Um, and then, yeah, it's still the modded version here, the Super Glide Hero of Troy version which is like 13.93 milliseconds in average, which is still not fast, guys. Cause fast on my system, or normal, it's not fast. Normal would be eight, no, nine, nine milliseconds. Eight to nine milliseconds would be normal on my system. And 12 is still okay-ish, but everything above 12 is like slow on the system, okay? So keep this in mind, um, just by how the mouse feels, how, when you, get a good one. This is, has also no flex, so the DPI button is also not clicking, but here yeah. if you get a good one with maybe a mouse wheel which looks like it's really good centered, you can still enjoy it because the grip is awesome, but I also know people who have like motion delay problems, real sensor off problems and they told, for example, um, or they talked with the support of Final Mouse, they explained the problems with videos, with everything, and Final Mouse don't care, they just say update the firmware and that's all. They don't want it back, they don't want to rework something, they just don't care about the European consumers, it looks like. I have no idea why. At the end, guys, you decide, I just would Play it cause the shape is awesome, not cause it's performing awesome, cause it's not even close to performing good. And um, I still honor the work, I still honor that they made the first metal mouse on the market. Uh, but I'm kind of disappointed of the, the uh, PCB work inside of the uh, integrated circuit work, of everything technical behind it. Sure. They are only dropping small numbers, not comparable to Logitech or Razer, but in general, it feels like if you sell a product for the double of the price that, uh, that the competition does, your product could be close to the same level, I think, just technically seen. They are not, so hmm, you still decide, as I said. Um, if you love the product, if you love the shape, if you already have Final Mouse since ages, you can play it, it's an awesome product, the glides feeling still very good on your most loved uh, Uzi pad, it's totally nice to use, it's still the stock skates in my opinion, also the stock skates are very good, they have a nice rounding, yeah, still nothing stuck, it's only the, the real performance, the motion, the just the, the way they do it, this is the only thing that fucks me off, I would love to see this product have 6 milliseconds on my system or 8, would, I would love to see it, because it would be an awesome product then, not gonna lie, but it's not. Thanks for watching guys, uh, I hope you understand now and um, I done what you all wanted, I updated the firmware and I show you, well, showed you the latencies already, um, you can compare it yourself now and I said or told you what I think about it, I will not talk about what people wrote on the final mouse discord, because I don't fucking care. Um, also, I will not talk about the bullshit Final Boys talking on the Discord about how you um, working in integrated circuits because I know people who have master degrees in this, but I think Final Boy is a good GTR driver. So let's keep this in mind, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have anything to moan about or if you still think this product is the best in the world, please let me know in the comments below. I will uh, delete it immediately. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.